What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe and share if you haven't already in good faith that I will continue bringing you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I say with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so listen, first of all, there's a lot of noise in the background because they're working on some landscaping, so just bear with me, okay? Now, for the video, I'm gonna get into why I believe that carbines and or rifles, however you wanna say it, are more efficient for home defense than handguns, okay? But before I get into that, I just wanna thank you guys for all the support you've been showing me, sharing my videos, watching my videos, um, being respectful in the comment section. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for using my links. I know the codes help you, the links help me in this channel and we help each other. So I truly appreciate that. I don't know if I say it enough. I know sometimes when I get into the video, I'm giving you a story or something happened. And so I just get right into it. But I just wanted to take the time to actually thank you guys for that. I truly appreciate it. Now, if you haven't purchased your shirt already, please do so. Okay. I only have XLs, double XLs and triple XLs. That's it. That's all I have left. Once they're out, they're out. If you need it, uh, find me on Facebook, 32 Icon or email me, 32icon at gmail.com. Okay, we get into this video. Okay, so here's why I believe that carbines uh, and or rifles are more efficient for home defense than handguns. Okay, number one. Carbines and rifles have a longer sight radius. Now, for reference, this is a nine millimeter carbine in Connecticut. This is considered an other. I know you see the foregrip and you see the brace and it's considered an other. And I'll put a video right here for your description so you understand what an other is in the state of Connecticut and why it is legal for me to have this. Okay, enough of that. So this is a nine millimeter carbine. It takes Glock mags and... Um, it's empty, by the way. Let me see. All right. It's empty. Nothing's in here. Okay. Getting into the video. Number one, longer sight radius. We know that on carbines or rifles, I'm going to just say carbines because I'm talking about carbines, rifles, um, SBRs, even AR pistols, whatever state you live in, whatever is applicable to you, then that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about long guns, period. Okay. So, um, longer sight radius, all right? So we know that with a longer sight radius, we're gonna be more accurate, all right? We have more time to be able to get our sights on the target, we're able to line it up. It's just easier for us to have quicker um, target acquisition than it would be if we were using a handgun. So that's the number one reason why I believe that um, carbines are more efficient than handguns. And I will say that this list is not necessarily in order, it's just an order in which I was thinking about it at the time of this video, okay? Number two, if you've done any sort of research or you've watched active self-protection on YouTube, then you will know that during home invasions, that usually there's like two, three, four, maybe even five people trying to get into that home. And usually they have firearms with them, right? You rarely see one person trying to break into a home, try to be, you know, mischievous. It's usually two, three, four, or even five, okay? With that comes this. Magazine capacity. Now, for those who live in restricted states, this is a non-starter. This is, we can't even have this conversation because we're limited to 10 rounds, which is un very unfortunate because how are you supposed to protect your family with 10 measly rounds, okay? When you have four or five people coming into your home. But that is a conversation for another day. In fact, I already did a video on that. It's called um, 10 Rounds is Not Enough. I'm gonna link it right here so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those who live in free states, when you're using a carbine or rifle or whatever, you have the option of extra magazine capacity over a handgun. Most handguns, I guess, in your free states, um, what, 12 rounds, 14 rounds, maybe 15 rounds, where you can grab a carbine, okay, and you could get 20 round mags, uh, 30 round mags, you know, you guys got all the freedom over there. So if something like that happens where your life is in danger, you're not trying to practice reloading and grabbing another magazine. Hopefully, you know, nothing jams and everything goes well. But my point is, you have 
enough magazine capacity to protect you and your family and your property. All right, so that is another major reason why I believe that these long guns are more efficient, highly efficient for home defense. Okay, number three, with the pistol caliber carbines, you get to choose your, you know, you get to choose your caliber. You can have nine millimeter, you got 45, 300, blackout, 223. Um, oh, if you want 10 millimeter, you can have that too. God bless you. So you have an option of which caliber you want to use. And that is very important because even if you want heavier calibers, and let's just say that you are, you know, you're not a novice, but you're not an operator either. You're right in the middle and you want a little more impact for your home defense, but you don't want to be startled by the recoil. You can get those higher calibers in a carbine or long gun, and it will suck up a lot of that recoil where it'll be easier for you to control the firearm. All right, number four. Long guns have three to four uh, points of contact. And what I mean by that is that you have your hand here on the on the rail, you have your hand on the grip, that's two points of contact. Your third point of contact is having that brace or stock, if you have a stock, and having it on your shoulder. And the potential, I say fourth point of contact, is your cheek weld, okay? So with that, it is easier to control, it's easier to handle. Okay, whereas in a handgun, you have two points of contact. Okay, so you're not going to have as much stability. You have a longer barrel on a long gun as opposed to a handgun. You have a shorter barrel. So again, it's going to be a little more difficult to control. And again, if you have two, three, four or five people coming to your home, you're going to have to be super accurate with that handgun. Whereas with a long gun, of course, you're going to have to be accurate, right? Because you're responsible for every round that comes out of here. But it helps with your accuracy because the firearm is more stable. You have your shoulder helping, you have your cheek well, and you have your two points of contact in your hands holding on to that firearm so you can be as accurate as possible. All right. Number five, and this is last but certainly not least, and there could be more. I'm sure you guys will chime in as you normally do. But the rifle or carbine is simply easier to control and pick up under pressure. So you have a larger frame body, right? This, this is a lot of mass as opposed to a handgun, which is very small. And I showed you that in previous videos. Now, with that, like I said previously, it's easier to control, okay? Now imagine there's a bump in the night and someone is coming in to, you know, cause you great bodily harm or, you know, up to some bad things and really want to take you and your family out. In the middle of the night, when you grab this, it's a, like I said, it's a lot of mass. You feel it, right? You're a little delirious. You know, it's the middle of the night. You're sleepy. You're grabbing this. You wake up. Now you're like, okay, what's going on? This is easier to control. This is easier to pick up. This is easier to identify, okay? Whereas with the handgun, you know, you could be, you could be reaching for it. You might miss it. It's smaller. Remember, you're not in the most conscious place because you're waking up out of, you know, your deep sleep, out of your REM sleep, and you're trying to figure out what is going on. So you go to grab something like this, this is going to be more manageable than it would be if you were to grab, you know, a said handgun of your choice. So again, if you're grabbing a carbine or a rifle, it has a larger body of mass, okay? It's easier to control under pressure, and you'll be more confident and more aware grabbing this out of your sleep than you would be probably a handgun, all right? So listen, you guys know, this is just my thoughts. Again, do your own research. You let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. But these are the reasons why I think a carbine or a rifle um, you know, is more efficient than a handgun when it comes to home defense. We talked about the sight radius. We talked about mag capacity. We talked about the options of different uh, calibers. We talked about the three to four points of contact. And we also talked about it being a larger tool 
Um, so when you wake up out of your sleep, you have something to grab that's easily accessible. So you guys let me know. I don't know everything. You do your research, put it down in the comments. But these are my reasons why I think the carbine or rifle is easier and more efficient than a handgun when it comes to home defense, all right? So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well. Treat one another with kindness, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Peace.